I have a lot of respect for St. Joseph's. I think that they're uh, at least really close to the best team in the conference. Um, you know, they're pretty well put together with maturity and uh, guys that know the role and are talented. So it's a good combination for them. I thought we would have to play, a, um, you know, not a perfect game, but I thought we had to play really, really well to uh, have a chance to win. We did some good stuff in the first half, and then in the second half, I thought um, first stretch of the game, Bembry played really well. Uh, made some plays on both ends of the floor, and uh, we didn't capitalize on a few open floor layups that to me was a 10 point swing. We missed uh, a couple layups, they got threes, and it was a four points we should have got, six we didn't get, six that they uh, received. And at that point, we, um, you know, we didn't uh, stay with our game plan for a little while, maybe a stretch of four or five minutes, and uh, they capitalized. So they're a really good team. Uh, my hat actually goes off to them. I think that um, they're an NCAA tournament level team that is, uh, that is very good. And um, we'll, we'll uh, learn from our mistakes tonight and try to get better for a game on Saturday. Remember, he eventually did go to the bench at the four fouls. Was not doing enough to kind of take advantage of that. And then when he did come back in, he kind of helped them push it back out to 15, 20 points all of a sudden. Yeah, that I thought we, um, you know, we took a little bit of an advantage, probably not as much as we could have or should have. Um, you know, we played somewhat of a limited uh, rotation just because of how they play uh, with, you know, four or five guards on the floor. And so um, when we had our advantages, we didn't take advantage. And, I think you guys understand, um, you know, the times we've shot two for 22 from three, that's probably been a, um, a tough um, shooting night for us to overcome. Um, so we did some decent stuff, but not enough to uh, beat a good team. Did it feel kind of like for a little while, kind of the same way the first game played out, where you play them real tough in the first half, and, and then all of a sudden that, that kind of that opening stretch, they kind of put the gas, the, the foot down, and yeah, kind of I mean, pull I, away I mean, a little I, bit? I guess. I mean, I didn't really think back much to the, the first game. I was kind of concerned about uh, what was going on here today, but I um, mean, I could kind of see that they were, um, you know, they were executing on both ends of the floor and um, doing some really good stuff. They they switched Bembry over to, to CJ after he picked up that third foul. Do, do you think they're, they they could have done more to kind of try to force that issue a little bit and, and and get him out of the game sooner? When well, we tried. I mean, we yeah. were trying to have CJ screen and maybe get some switches, which they did a few times. Um, you know, I thought there were some close ones <laughs> in that stretch, but um, you know, he's a pretty smart player. Yeah where he can kind of play and be a good defender without picking up his fourth and even his fifth. Um, but I thought we created contact a few times and, you know, I didn't, I wouldn't say it was a fall, but I'm just saying we created some contact to try to see if we could get him his because they're, and I would say that um, he makes them one of the elite teams in the league because of what he does for them on both ends of the floor. Jabari, was the, was the block shot that they had there, uh, you guys had cut the, cut the lead to eight and we're going down. Um, you guys are going down for the potential layup and they had, they had the block shot too, and the, which, Kind of sparked them, and they ended up with the three at the other end. That kind of seemed like moment that was that kind of switched momentum their way. Yeah, that was a really good play. Uh, it, was, it was a good block. I thought I was going to get the layup, but unfortunately, he blocked it. It was a really good play for the game. Dr. Okay, oh. DK, it, it seemed like it seemed like especially when Bembry came back in that St. Joe's was kind of settled themselves. Yeah, I mean, you know, that happens a lot of times when your best player or one of your two best players comes back in and he's, uh, you know, he's been, he's pretty mature for his, uh, the way he plays and I think he settles them down. I mean, even the way he kind of operates with his teammates, I think he's a calming influence and they know he's a, he's a good player. And, um, yeah, when I saw him come back in, I thought that he was uh, <coughs> going to help them kind of uh, settle some things down. Dante, you went after him, especially in the first half, really aggressively. Did you feel like that was the way that you had to play if you were going to match up against him and, and kind of force the issue and, and try to create some of your own momentum that way? Uh, I would say that's usually how I try to play, aggressive. But yeah, he was kind of in foul trouble. So yeah, we was trying to get him up the ball. So I kept trying to attack him. Is that a little bit of a Charlotte versus Charlotte thing? Looks like you guys are enjoying that, that, that matchup. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess you can say that. Anything else, guys? All right, thank you.